Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is episode 19. I'm excited. We're about to hit episode 20 next week. We just went, we just went public on YouTube on week 10. We're making strides soon. We're going to relaunch our po podcast. The first podcast I ever launched was in 20. 14 on iTunes. We made it all the way to new and noteworthy. Some of you probably remember that. It was called the Flip This House podcast. We were in the top 10 for about the first two weeks. And then I said to myself, this isn't me. This isn't me. Flip This House was a brand created by HGTV. And I was just riding the coattail of it. However, the content was different. I took that podcast down in 2015 and we reemerged in 2022, 2021, I'm sorry. So here we are and we're on episode 19. It's been a, a great ride thus far. I love the feedback that you are giving us. I love the, the participation um, and the value that several of the Freedom of Wealth Seekers have sent in from articles to um, news stories. I look at them all. Please continue to share. Okay, this community is growing. I looked at the YouTube subscribers. We grew 100 new subscribers in the last two weeks. That's no paid advertising. That's all organic traffic. I appreciate you all sharing. I'm, I, I'm blessed and fortunate to uh, be in a position to pour into more people. Those 100 new subscribers, if you're a new subscriber, congratulations. Welcome to our community that we're building. All right, I'm in this for the long run. So welcome to the Freedom and Wealth Seekers podcast where we pride ourselves on sharing, informing, educating our growing community with actionable information, actionable information. I share information that you can actually take action with and start seeing results, all right? We also share content and resources that you can also experience results with. This is, this is huge. I'm not just, you know, summarizing a news article. We're sharing case studies. We're bringing on special guests. We really, really have a passion to pour into others. Quick disclaimer, ladies and gentlemen, remember to do your own research on any of the content that I share. My content is intended to be used for informational and sometimes entertainment purposes. I call it edutainment. I used to call it infotainment, but the word now is edutainment. Purposes only. It is very important that you do your own due diligence before making any investments based on your own personal and financial circumstances. You should research and verify anything that I say, and you should also consult with a licensed professional. So a couple of updates, <clears throat> we're gonna jump in. Rehab Mastery, gotta talk about that. So the schedule is the schedule. It's May 21st in Baltimore. We're only opening it up to 10 people, 10. We have five tickets, five, five or four tickets left. One or the other, there's a few tickets left. All right, it's still time. You still have time to register at the discounted price of $14.97. If you have not registered yet, send me a text message. You should all have my phone number by now. If not, it's 202-918-3445. 202-918-3445. Let me know you're interested and I'll send you a registration link. This is a full day training from nine to five. Now, so I got some bad news. 
but it's also good news. One of the properties that we will be visiting is a property I recently rehabbed. However, that property hit the market and is now under contract to settle. And settlement is scheduled tentatively for May 20th. So we were gonna go visit this property, which is another renovated house. We're still gonna visit it, but I'm going to ask the new owner if they settle on time, if I could bring some investors in to view the property. I don't think they're gonna have an issue with that. Most people that I've sold homes to, they don't move in the next day. They usually move in the weekend after. So we'll see. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I can take you all into this property. But if not, I, re I didn't just renovate the inside, I re renovated the outside. And we're going to walk there anyway to a block where I will be renovating six houses on that block. But I started with one. All right. And uh, it's going to be pretty, pretty uh, interesting, to say the least. We're going to pass a... $700 million residential development. That's almost a billion dollars being invested in, in this neighborhood. Um, and you're going to see my, I call it the mini development that's surrounded by these multi-million and, and billion dollar developments. But at the end of the day, my, my, uh, my development is a multi-million dollar development, residential redevelopment. And uh, I'm super excited about that and sharing that vision uh, with you and rehab mastery i'm not just doing one class so if you think this is just a one-time thing no i've never been a one-shot pony we're gonna hold classes this is a new model i'm not using any ballrooms anymore i'm bringing you into the field so you can see it you can feel it and you can touch what i'm talking about what i'm teaching i've taught on stages for over 10 years, from real meetings to my own ballrooms, to meetup groups. Now I wanna bring people to where I'm investing my time, my energy, and my money. And I'm also bringing people to my clients, my alumni. I'm bringing you to their properties. See, I've been doing this business 20 years. But I have a client that's only been going for two years, maybe three, maybe three months, and they purchase a property. I want to bring you to their properties so you can see them investing, so you can hear from them in person. It's different. So this is a new concept. I've never done this before. It's outside of the bus tour. It's outside of touring the properties for 20, 30 minutes. No, we're going to sit down, stand up, if you please, at one of my properties, at some of my students' properties throughout the Rehab Mastery tour, if you want to call it that. And I'm going to teach you there in a property that we built up from, from the dirt. We take these properties apart, we build them back. We, built, we put them back together, okay? When I was a kid, I liked taking things apart and trying to figure out how to put it back together. And now we're doing it as adults, all right? So we're, we, we've, we talked about Rehab Mastery. We have a special guest. He did log on. Want to also talk about my latest wholesale deal. Latest wholesale deal I put together Saturday morning. Is it Saturday? Today is Wednesday. No. Friday morning. Friday morning, I put a wholesale deal together from the comfort. You know, you can wholesale deals from the kitchen table. You can wholesale deals from your couch. You can wholesale deals from your office. As long as you have an internet connection in today's age, you can wholesale deals anywhere. Gotta, I want y'all to understand something. Wholesaling houses, real estate investing has been going on before you was born. Don't let me go back into my, my, the crates. Frederick Douglass's first, one of his first homes, he purchased wholesale. 
It was a middleman in between, arbitrage. It was a middleman in between the, 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 one of the transactions in Rochester, New York, a jeweler. Okay. I wholesaled this property from the comfort of my bed, my memory phone. All right. With my cell phone. And I'm going to break that deal down. And, you know, man, the, the entire deal is going to bring in $25,000. All right. I put the deal together from my bed. If I can do it from my bed, if Frederick Douglass could do it back during slavery, everybody watching this video can wholesale a house. The guy you're going to hear from tonight, he didn't just build a multi-million dollar rental portfolio overnight. He's been in real estate 15 years. You saw the video that I shared earlier today. If you're on the text, chat if you're texting me yeah that's me really it's not a bot okay now bots are good it's not my assistant this is really me texting you live and in person look look at those names folks up 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 you can't see oh you can see now that's me i'm talking to you yeah i'm giving you the thumbs up that's really me texting you all. Take advantage. When we get to like 10,000 people with a text, I don't know if I'm going to be able to respond in tw within 24 hours. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Maybe when I go on vacation, I get bored, I start texting you all. So we got a lot to We got to talk about cryptocurrency. If you know anything about the Freedom and Wealth Seekers, it ain't just about real estate. We're talking multiple streams of income. I'm in a new project. Some of you have joined the journey. We're going to talk about that later as well. So uh, I want to bring to the stage a special guest, expert. This man has 15 years of experience in real estate. I value his, his, his knowledge. I value his time. Um, very, very valuable uh, information. And he's just like you. He's just like me. I worked for the federal government for four years before I retired in 2006. This gentleman, I believe, put in 14 years before he retired in 2022 at the young age of 40 years old. I believe he retired at 39 because his birthday celebration was his retirement party. And I want y'all to know, he's not the first person I've helped retire or had played a part in them retiring. They're about 15, they're, they're about 15 to 20 REI Inner Circle alumni between the age of 22, no, I'm sorry, 19. Okay, we have some retirees at 19, all the way up to 71, retired after getting in real estate. Okay, and I'll start bringing them on as guests so you can hear their stories in the near future. But Charles is with us tonight. He's in his car, and I'm going to ask him to unmute. And by the way, Charles is going to be at Rehab Mastery. And he's not just going to be teaching about how to build a multi-million dollar rental portfolio. Like I said, he has multiple streams of income. He makes money while he sleeps. He makes money in the stock market. He has another business, but he's just like you. He worked a nine to five. He's a family man. Ble Charles, I'm sorry if I got this wrong. I believe he has two to three children because he's always posting on Instagram. It's kind of hard to keep up. He's a family man, multiple hats. And now he's a full-time real estate investor. Well, let's welcome Charles Eddington. Charles, this is your first time on the Freedom and Wealth Seekers podcast, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate having you. How's everything going this evening? Everything is great, Marcel. Marcel, I, you know, I appreciate you taking the time and thinking about me to even be on, on your podcast, man. It's great. You're delivering some great information. So let's thank you for having me this evening. I appreciate it. And um, 
sorry about uh, sorry about me being in the car, but one of the things of uh, one of the, one of the blessings of real estate myself is that it gives me the opportunity to say I'm taking my kids to all of their sports programs, sports practices, pick them up, do what I need to do, and all of that. Right, so that's a blessing. So you know, thank you for that because you you introduced me to to real estate and wholesaling. Um, which is where I got started, and you've been my mentor since. So thank you, Marcel. I appreciate that, Charles. Man, we're excited. Um, we're having a, a small group of students that come out on May 21st. We have about four to five tickets left. And I just wanted to see if you could kind of give a, a, a brief overview on the topics and the experiences you've had in real estate, what you will be sharing during the Rehab Mastery, that's a class we're holding from nine to five, all of our participants get the recordings of that event as well. So you're gonna have lifetime access to the content that we, we record. You're gonna be a part of the, I would call, this is the inaugural. This is the first of many. So you're gonna be a part of history in Baltimore. And who knows, we may go to other states. We have students in Houston, Texas, that are coming up. We have students in upstate New York. We have students all over the country that we may go to their markets and, and hold a rehab mastery at their market. So Charles, man, drop some knowledge on us tonight. Oh man, so so Marcel, it's funny that you um, that you just talked about that you can wholesale from anywhere, right? So literally on April the 21st, I was in BWI Airport. Someone called me about a deal they wanted some. Um, they wanted to sell it. One of my buyers. All strategies that I learned, you know, with you when you built this, when you built your program about 20 years ago, um, and I reached out to them. As soon as they looked at the block, they were interested in the property and wanted to move forward. Um, right away, they said, well, listen, we're going to go ahead and send you the, uh, the car. We, you know, we'll sign off on everything. They were good with the property. So literally, I was in uh, Las Vegas, Las Vegas, Nevada. So I landed when I got there. It was about 11 o'clock their time. So, you know, it's later here. But they already had the contract to me. The next day, I um, spoke to those guys. They were ready to move forward, you know, sent the deposit in and everything. So I literally literally did a deal in Las Vegas um, for a property that was here in Baltimore. And that was on April the 21st. So let's say 22nd, on the 22nd, everything was ratified. And this Friday, we go to closing and I'll make a $4,000 profit. So I literally made $4,000 while I was in Vegas, you know, just having a good time. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> it's crazy, right? So, you know, when Marcel talks about just the, uh, the the freedom that real estate gives you. I mean, that shows you right there. Um, you know, I, like I said, I was away, you know, hours, thousands of miles away, and was and still had the opportunity to make to, to make money. Um, one of the things that I really want to talk to everyone about uh, when we get to the when we get to the class on the twenty first is, I want to tell you guys a whole other strategy in in real estate, and you may have heard it, but it's a method called. <clears throat> The, the BRRR method, or they call it the Burr method. And when I explain this method to you all, sorry about the, the lighting, you guys just got into the house. But when I explain this method to you all, I am going to show you how I literally made $150,000 tax-free money from a property that I purchased pretty much through a wholesale process and I actually, um, I actually gifted my wife uh, a new LLC and I put this property in it. And, and that was on Valentine's Day that I gave her the LLC. And then a month later, I made her $150,000. And I did that all within 30, 45 days. Amazing. I know, <laughs> look, you just raised the bar. For all the dads, the, the the husbands, Mother's Day is this weekend. Guys, y'all y'all sitting on the fence. Charles just raised the bar. He didn't upgrade the wedding ring, the engagement ring, the diamond. 
he gave his wife an appreciating asset. And not only, Charles, is that you gave her 150 grand, right? But also, <clears throat> did, did you give her, is there, is there a revenue coming in on that property too? Yeah, so here's, so here's the thing. So that 250 grand out tax free. Um, so, yes, you do have a mortgage on it. But here, here, here's the catch the mortgage on that property is about $800. The tenants are paying $1,500 a month. So, with positive cash flow all across the board, you know, you, you, can't, you can't beat it. You, you just, I mean, real estate, you know, real estate, you guys, is, is, it's a part of everyone who is successful, all of the millionaires. I don't care. They are involved in some type of real estate. They may not own a hundred units or a hundred doors or, or whatever, but look at the homes and things that they purchase in certain areas. And when they sell those homes, they're making, they're making millions of dollars when they sell those homes. You know, um, real estate, listen, real estate is just one, one avenue of making so much money and being successful and changing your life, changing, changing your legacy, changing your neighborhood is, um, you, you can't miss the ball. The access that you have to Marcel right now, you know, take advantage of it while you can. Like he said, he's texting you directly. Listen, I take advantage of it. I, like I said, I still consider myself to be my mentor. I'm still learning from him. He's still teaching me things. I'm happy and blessed that I get to teach him things as well now. Um, but we learn together. And now we're just growing in other spaces, right? So now we're in a cryptocurrency space. And Marcel has been teaching me that and showing me that. And I've been dropping the ball, but now I jumped on it and I jumped in it, jumped on it in a big way. So once again, myself, man, I appreciate you. Absolutely, man. Appreciate you, Charles. And he's right. I learned, I learned from you all. I learned from you all. The, the, the beautiful thing about the system that I've been teaching you all since 2007 is that it's a foundation that you can be your own architect. Like I'm the foundation. And then you are the architects and understanding that the world evolves and that information evolves and technology evolves and every single year this happens, this is evolution. Okay. And Charles is an example of evolution in the business. I didn't, I didn't build a multi-million dollar uh, rental portfolio. I didn't have a multi-million dollar rental portfolio when I met Charles. Okay. It took time to build up my portfolio from 2007, from 2008, actually, after the, the real estate market crashed, I became an accidental landlord. So Charles is, he's done this in a short period of time. Yes, he's been in real estate 15 years, but we all know 15 years goes like this. It goes like this. I was just 20 some years old yesterday. So understanding the importance of timing. Timing in business is everything. Some of you have been thinking about investing in real estate for the last 20 years and have never gotten involved, never gotten involved, never done a deal. You've been thinking about this since the 80s, the 70s. Now is the time. Property values aren't going to go back down to the values they were in the 90s. It's not going to happen. Most property values are not going to go back down to the values in the early 2000s. It's not going to happen. All right. Not saying it never happened, but God forbid if we experience a war on this land or something, you know, that's way out left field that could shake up things here. But history has shown us that has not happened. Only thing we do know that has happened is that over since 1953, I believe, real estate has steadily appreciated year after year after year after year. And we've experienced the most appreciation between 2020 and 2022. Like most properties in the United States appreciate, I believe, over 14%. Charles, you're, um, you're actually into some other niches. Could you touch on uh, commercial, your commercial cleaning business? I've mentioned that on different videos and things of that nature. And, and also you have not just a rental portfolio, but you're also in the stock market. Could you touch on those endeavors as well? Oh, I think I got to unmute you. 
I just did it. All right. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah. So, you know, um, once again, you know, time is everything. So we started that commercial cleaning business back in, I think it was 2000, maybe five or so. The uh, recession, the recession hit. A lot of companies had to <clears throat> had to get rid of, had to cut the fat pretty much. So, um, you know, that business kind of dwindled down and we just left it kind of dormant. Um, but for some reason, <clears throat> I would say in 2019, we actually started to, to re-ramp that business up and we just put the systems in place, right? So we just got some education on some systems and things, automation, all of that stuff. And um, next thing you know, COVID was coming. There was this thing, COVID. I remember while I was still working, sitting in the office, we were reading, listening to the news and you see how countries are shutting down. And I was spending money on these cleaning supplies, gloves. I was buying masks and I was already doing that for the business. And the next thing you know, COVID hit. Mm -hmm. When COVID hit, things shut down. Everyone knows that, um, you know, business that's, you know, business, business were, were, were closing. But one of the things that came needed for this new COVID that nobody had experienced. And we were able to beat out a lot of companies because, you know, those guys had a lot of overhead. We had just came into the market. Um, well, re-entered the market, so positioned. And once again, it was timing that just allowed us to thrive and be successful. So that's just one thing. Um, we talked about, you know, stock trading. So, you know, I, I am one of those guys that trade what, what's called options trading. Um, so once again, you know, do your research, you know, look, look at this stuff. You want to have multiple streams of income. But with options trading, uh, I'm making money there. Everybody's getting hammered in the market right now, but it's all about your timing. Um, and being able to ride those waves and get through the tough times. Um, history has shown that when you come out on the other side, you are in a, a, a position that's 20, 30, sometimes 100 times percent better than where you, where you were and where you started. So, you know, definitely look at this as an opportunity to get into, those, into that stock market. I'll also do something. Hey Charles, you're breaking up. You're breaking up a little bit. Hey Charles, I'm sorry, sorry to cut you off. You you're breaking up a little bit. Um, I just want to review what Charles said because I know what he's talking about. So Charles, he just to reiterate, he said when when markets are down, that's when the op, that's where the opportunity is, and he's in the options trading in the stock market, and he's also now transitioned into futures. Okay, which I have no idea what that is, but but Charles does. Um, but Charles, you you're breaking up a little bit. You hear me now? Am I better? Yeah, we can hear you. It's still breaking up. No, you're a little delayed, but we we can hear you crystal clear right now. It's still breaking up. Yeah, it's breaking Trading, up. Just a different form of being. Oh man! So look, oh, man, so, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it, it's breaking up. Don't worry about it. Um, you gave us a ton of information, Charles. Um, we can't wait to see you on May 21st. We do have a master class scheduled for this Saturday at 11 a.m. A Freedom and Wealth uh, master class. So. Hopefully, uh, we can possibly bring you on for that. I don't know what your schedule is Saturday, but if you look at your calendar, it will be greatly appreciated. We're running these classes each and every Saturday at 11 a.m. No cost to any of you to attend. They're about 90 minutes, and we teach on various subjects. I am going to go on, and people are asking me about this deal that took me 15 years to put together. So... Write this down, folks. Here's a quick lesson. You always want to start in the neighborhoods you're most familiar with. So I consider these your, your own backyard. When you're starting out your real estate investing journey, you want to start out in your own backyard. So this is a neighborhood 
that I grew up in. And when I started my journey, I started flipping houses in my neighborhood, wholesale, now rehab. And this is a property that I always had my eyes on because there was a, uh, and this leads up to a really good story I'm going to tell on my, my 40, my 21st, I'm sorry, my 41st, I keep mixing the two up, my 41st birthday, reality just hit. I'm going to share this story about this neighborhood where I met an icon. I'm talking about an internationally known icon, okay, along the lines of Michael Jackson, that type of iconic impact, right? Um, this guy's uh, music lives forever. I, I actually met him right in my neighborhood. And I did not know who he was at the time. And I can't wait to share that story on, the, on May 30th. <clears throat> May 30th is my 41st birthday. Um, I was going to share that story on my 40th, but I needed some confirmation. And I got the confirmation about two weeks ago. And I'll get into that on the 30th. So you all got to wait for that. But part of that story, this house is on that on that road okay on that route within that story there was an alley in the neighborhood all the kids knew about called snake alley and it literally winds around like a snake and, and it's you you come out that alley you could end up going 30 miles an hour that's how the hills are and the, the curves it, it was it was crazy and when you come out the alley it's a row of houses big single family detached houses right these houses are about 2,000 to 2,500 square feet. Now, there was a house at the end. Of, as soon as you come out the alley, it's this big old single family house. As soon as you hit the main street, it's this big old house. So I've been familiar with the house since I was a kid. When I got into real estate, I noticed that the house was rickety and raggedy. All right. If you saw the video today, <laughs> you saw what it looked like. I wasn't going to dare to go inside and show y'all what it looked like. That's a whole nother story. But one of my partners, um, he actually put, purchased the house from me. I am going to show the rehab process, okay, while he's going in there getting dirty. I'm going to be outside, but I'm going to show you all what was in this house. Anyway, I've been after this house 15 years. <clears throat> the owners are an older couple. They were do-it-yourself type of individuals. They lived in a house since 71. They moved out because it just was falling apart. Literally, the house, wait till you see uh, the videos in the future that I've published. <coughs> but they're too old. Um, the husband is ailing. They're like in their, their 80s. And they wanted, they sold the house at a fair price. Uh, we didn't get a house, the house at a deep discount. It was a fair price. And there's still some, some room for profit. So they were able to get what they wanted. We were able to get what we wanted. And it was a win-win. So write that down. Create win-wins. Okay. So you wrote, you're writing down a couple of things. Your own backyard, create win-wins, right? The other thing is I had to have staying power. Okay. Meaning I never quit in real estate. I may have taken some breaks, but I never quit the business, right? We all need breaks in there. Mental breaks, vacation breaks, whatever. Personal things in your life may take you off your journey. That's all happened to me over the 20 years. Okay. It hasn't been peaches and cream. Believe that. It hasn't been peaches and cream. And we kind of rehab mastery. You're going to learn about all the million dollar mistakes, all the six figure mistakes that I've made in this business. That's one of the benefits of having a mentor. Charles, he had that benefit. He saw me go through what I went through early on in my career. All right. He learned from my mistakes. That's why he's very successful today. All right. Now, this particular deal, I stopped my car over the last 15 years, talked to the owners, tried to get them to sell me their house. They didn't want to sell. I've called them on the phone. They didn't want to sell. I've written them letters. They didn't want to sell. I never stopped. And I believe when you put in the work, I've always believed when you put in the work, the universe is going to reward you, all right? The universe will reward you. So over the last 15 years, I've taught hundreds of people. Thousands of people have learned from my information through my books, my seminars, 
tens of thousands. Some of my other students that are coaching and mentoring people. One of my alum put that property under contract and posted it on their Instagram. I'm waking up and I see the house. I've been there for 50 years. <clears throat> I immediately text him like, hey, how'd you get this house? I've been trying to buy it for 15 years. And he told me, okay, he told me how he did it. All right, this is a, he took a page out of my book, my own book. And I was just blessed and fortunate to have rapport with this guy. Me and this guy have made a lot of money together, okay? A lot of money together. And just being in a position where I was able to teach this young man who's now running a multi-million dollar real estate business. He's also a multi-million dollar agent. He's get every quarter. He's in the top five agents with Keller Williams. I called him. I said, I have a client. I said, I can't buy this house right now. I got too much on my plate, but I got a client that wants it. He told me the price. I called my client. I said, we can make it a deal. And if you know, it's hard to get properties in, across the country off market to renovate. It's very hard. The market's tight right now. It's low, lack of inventory, right? So I say all that to say, if I would have quit five, 10 years ago um, or in 2008 with a market crash, I wouldn't have done that deal. The, the guy that's very successful that gave me the opportunity to partner with him on the deal, he wouldn't even be in the business if I'd have quit in 2008 because I met him in like 2013 or 14. All right. That's how I did the deal. I saw a post. I sent a text. I then picked up the phone, called my client, say, hey, I got a house. Are, are you buying right now? I then text my former student. We need to see the property. He scheduled time with the owner to meet us at the property. And then I met the, the owner and my client at the property. So it wasn't all the way from my bed. I did go because I wanted to see the house I've, I've always wanted. And I went and met Friday at one o'clock. And the, the deal was done. Deposit was sent to title company. Contract was signed. And we're going to go to settlement on the 20th. So if all goes right, I'll have two real estate settlements on the 20th of May. And who knows, I may have more because deals are still coming in. Leads are still coming in. I took down three vacant properties today just during my travels. Okay, so this, this is part. Now, a lot of you that aren't in my coaching program, you're getting bits and pieces of what we do to generate leads. Like if I drive down the street, okay, I was out all day today. Every time I see a vacant house, I look at it like a dollar sign. Like that could be profit right there. Let's sign this. Let, let's, let's put this in the lead funnel. All right. So that's for the people that are asking that question. The, the deal that took 15 years, that's how I, that deal landed kind of in my lap. And if I did not look in Instagram, so if you don't have an Instagram account, you need to get one. <clears throat> I used to not have an Instagram account, but it's power in social media. That's why it's here. Um, want to talk? Want to share my screen for a couple of reasons tonight. I want to show you all an article from CNBC that uh, that I want you all to read. A lot of people, you hear a lot of mixed reviews when you hear the word cryptocurrency or crypto or Bitcoin or blockchain, the CNBC, one of the biggest, if not the biggest financial news syndicators on the planet, California governor issue, issues executive order on crypto as state embraces blockchain technology. So this, is, this article is talking about the adoption of cryptocurrency of blockchain technology. You all, if you've been following the Freedom and Wealth Seeker podcast, I, I've been blessed this year. We had the first real estate investor 
to sell their house on the blockchain on a Freedom and Wealth Seeker podcast, you are, are a part of history. Five, 10 years from now, that is going to be one of the most historic podcasts that have ever taken place on real estate and cryptocurrency. That's the first podcast that that investor had ever been on in regards to her selling her property via Ethereum, which is a form of cryptocurrency. She has been on national news since our podcast. That's a national story. Folks, go to CNBC, read this article. Cryptocurrency is here to stay. And we're in the very, very beginning stages of what is taking place in the world. I want to share another resource uh, with you all. And this is a website that tracks cryptocurrency. This is another one. So I've shared CoinGecko before. This is a website called CoinMarketCap. Okay, so CoinMarketCap, they list all of the uh, cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin right now is at $39,672. So everybody uh, that knows what's going on in crypto right now knows that Bitcoin has kind of been on a decline since its all-time high. I'm going to show y'all the chart, <clears throat> the all-time, let's not the all time, it was pretty long, but I'll show you the, the one year chart of Bitcoin. So it went all the way up to like $67,000 in November of 2021. And since then, it's been going down. And people are like, oh, Bitcoin's going down. I should, you shouldn't invest in it. Most people that say that don't invest in anything. Because if you're talking about investing the only one of the best ways to invest is when something when an asset is actually going down you don't want to invest this is my model i'm not telling you how to invest but i don't want to invest when it's going up because eventually what goes up must come down perfect sense so that's just my my two cents but i'm a strong believer in bitcoin i wish i knew what i knew today because I actually, at one point, owned a. I, I feel like it would be is a lot of Bitcoin at that time, in 2017. But I had no knowledge of it. I just bought it because it was something new. Um, and then right after I bought it, the buzz started happening. I bought Bitcoins for three thousand dollars a piece um, back in 2017. <laughs> and I, I don't believe they'll ever hit that price again um, in, in my lifetime. So this is Coin Market Cap. Uh, they do have like a blog where you can learn more about cryptocurrency. I recommend that you start educating yourself. Um, Tether, USDT, I'm very familiar with. This is a stable coin that is really the equivalent to the US dollar. Now, I am in a project right now that I, uh, I, was, I was invited into by a friend. And it with cryptocurrency, I'll, I'll tell you all, it's the most volatile asset class and if you don't have the right knowledge it can be the riskiest asset, asset asset class to be in like literally i tell folks if you're thinking about investing in cryptocurrency only invest what you're comfortable losing at the end of the day so this is a project that i'm in right now it's called cotp and basically it is a trading platform that has the capability of running via an automated bot. So instead of me doing my trades, I can actually have a computer technology system do all of my trades. So I got involved in this back in uh, April of, of uh, April 14th of this year. And I'll actually show you um, what I invested. I, I invested what I was willing to lose. So I actually converted some of my, uh, existing cryptocurrency into Tether USD T TRC20. And that's a little over $1,400, which you're looking at right now. Okay, it's a little over, <clears throat> I'm gonna minimize the screen so you, you all can actually see what's going on. It's a little over uh, 1,400, not 14, $4,400. Okay, now this platform, I could have invested just $10. 
Okay, the minimum investment for this platform is 10 bucks. All right. Now, this is what it's been doing for me since the 14th. So I'm taking you into, <coughs> excuse me, my transaction hall. And you can look at all of my transactions since the 14th. So the 14th is at the bottom of the screen. I did four transactions. I traded $155. Now that wasn't my money. They're using my money to trade other currency. All right. So I didn't make any money with four transactions. Then I jump up on the 15th and I do 26 transactions and I make $3.30. Okay. On the 16th, <coughs> I did four transactions, didn't make a dime. But then I said, all right, let me take this serious. And I started doing more transactions. Made $5. And as of recently, about two weeks ago, I, uh, I invested in an automated bot that, to do all of my transactions for me while I don't have to press another button. I don't have to look at anything. I can just set it and forget it, all right, for the most part. And I started making more money. And just to like today, if you look at today, today is the 4th of May. I've made $168. Now, I want y'all to know that I didn't just jump right in and go bonkers with this. I took my time. I did my due diligence. If you look at the recharge records, which equal deposits, on the 14th, I only put $159 in change. On the 17th, I put another 146. I took my time with this. And as I started to see a return, I started to put more in. And on the 28th, I, I put 2,700 in, okay? And then I put another 284 on the 28th, okay? <clears throat> so I'm well-invested, I'm well-educated, and I know the risk. Today or tomorrow, this site could be down, okay? I've lost a lot of money in cryptocurrency. I'm a five-year seasoned investor. Um, this is something that is mind-boggling to see. Um, a lot of people are, are making a lot of money, but these are not typical result, results. I cannot guarantee that if you got involved with this, you would get the same results that I had, okay? I cannot guarantee that. There is no guarantee in any investing. There's no guarantee. There's no guarantee you'll be able to buy a property and, and gift it to your wife and put 150 grand in her pocket like Charles. All right? So look, this is what I'm going to do. My team is building. I want to show you my team. Some of you are on the team. And this is the beautiful thing about a team. When my team members make money like I'm making money, we all make money. So as you, they do reward you to have a team. So since I've been building the team, I've made $332 since the 14th. That's about 10 to $13 a day that I'm not working for, okay? And this is my team. There are a lot of people on my team right now, about 22, 23 people. Um, and I get paid in residual every day. So what I'm doing, I'm letting this stack up. If you're, if you're in the passive income crypto text group, um, you're, you're getting my late night videos. I'm documenting the next 30 days up until May 30th, where I'm going to pull out my initial investment. And then I'm going to have the, the, the profits stay in and continue to accrue interest. Right now I'm making three to 3.6%, three to 3.6% a day on my money. I'm not getting that at my bank. I'm not getting that in any stock. I'm not even getting that on cryptocurrency that I hold, unless there's a run up. Consistently since the 14th, I've been averaging three to 3.6%. I'm loving it. So if you're interested, if you're already on a Freedom and Wealth Seekers text mess message group, you can text crypto, the word crypto to me, and I'll add you to the passive income crypto team. And then I'll send you our team link for you to sign up. I'll send you tutorial videos on how to get started. And, um, you know, you can join this journey. You can join this journey. I don't know what's going to happen. 
hopefully we get to the 30th. You know, I don't know. Okay, this is cryptocurrency. This is cryptocurrency. It's a risky investment. And I tell folks, only invest what you're willing to lose. Some folks, it might be $10. Some folks, it might be $100. Others, it might be a few grand. Others, it might be tens of thousands. My mentor, he has over $100,000. A lot of you met my mentor on a webinar last night. He has over 100, I believe in 10, $110,000 in his C -T -C -O -T -P account. He's making about $4,000, four to $6,000 a day. All right. So folks, I'm going to wrap up here. This has been a great podcast episode number 19. Next week is episode 20. Who knows who I'm going to have in store? I'll see you Saturday, 11 a.m. for our master class, our rehabbing houses master class. And uh, link referral code was giving a problem. Okay. I don't know who that is, but what I'll do since we're still on the chat, I will copy the referral ref, referral code uh, link and I'll send it to everybody. But again, if you want to exclusively get the best cryptocurrency content, all you have to do is text crypto, <coughs> excuse me, to me, and I'll add you to the passive income uh, crypto group. Uh, via text and I'll send you the referral link and I'll send you some training videos on how to get started in the project that I'm currently involved in. So folks, again, this has been great. I look forward to seeing you all at the closing table very soon. Take care and God bless.